cover your time quickly before uh, beginning my presentation. I just show you a, a website from Casper, Casper Sky, which uh, modelizes in real time uh, the cyber attack threats. So you can see um, which kind of threats we can. Uh, um, uh, I'm just uh, showing this. Um, this uh, website just in order to um, uh, to um, introduce you about the risk of cyber attack. So now let's begin the presentation. As I'm going to share my uh, my, um, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share the, the slide after the, the event, so do, do, no, do not waste your time to take, uh, uh, to take notes if, uh, if you want. Uh, and so, I'm Estelle Borex. I'm a practice manager at Humanis. Humanis is a French company specialized in data. So and uh, now they are, go uh, they are going to open their services on uh, cyber security, IoT, and robotics because everything is related to data. I'm also Microsoft most valuable professional specialized in Azure, but uh, as an IT consultant, uh, I prefer to stay agnostic. That's why I'm not working uh, at Microsoft. Uh, I prefer to stay agnostic, and uh, today that I mainly work on Azure and AWS. I begin to work on uh, GCP and Google Cloud Platform, and I'm also uh, uh, very interested on uh, IBM and Oracle Cloud. Even if they are not very uh, famous in France, they are um, respectively third and fourth in the top rank, uh, worldwide ranking of cloud providers, that's why. You can easily contact me uh, by LinkedIn or Twitter. I don't have any uh, homonym, so it's re pretty easy to, to find me uh, if, you, if you want. So we're going to, to uh, begin with uh, to know uh, that cybersecurity is an issue for everyone. It's not an issue only for IT manager or for admin uh, uh, ad manager. This is only a, si uh, uh, a slide to, uh, re to, uh, memor to remind you on which um, uh, website which website you saw just at the beginning. And so you can Google uh, CyberMap Casper Sky and you're going to find it very easily. If you have some time and you, if you're interested about cybersecurity, which could be uh, the, the case if, uh, because you are here tonight, um, I, uh, go and spend some time on this website. You're going to, to, to know which kind of threat are the main, which uh, countries are mainly um, uh, impacted by, by the, the threat. And that's why. Some really quick value. The top 10 of countries best prepared against cyber attack uh, are um, Lithuania, Spain, and Estonia. Uh, there are mainly, it's not uh, the case for Spain, but uh, generally uh, countries uh, really prepared for, against cyber attacks are the country uh, which has the most um, hackers on the, in the country. In France we are not so bad because in, we are not the first, but this rank is really moving uh, every, uh, every month. In France, I know that not everybody is French here, but as we are, we are in France, we have a top 10, um, a top 20 countries uh, fund for the cyber crime, and we are mainly impacted with uh, malicious computer activity, malicious uh, um, code, and uh, spam, zombie, phishing, it's mainly about mail. But we also have bot attack, and, it's, uh, and this is a IoT uh, infrastructure which are most impacted by bot attack. So the, the, the goal for, for tonight uh, is to uh, understand how to uh, 
to go from a DevOps uh, mentality to a DevSecOps mentality. So DevOps, it's, uh, it's all about to automate uh, the process uh, and to, uh, to facilitate, to, to facilitate the, the, um, the work for, for developers. Uh, and, uh, but in DevSecOps, uh, we are going to automate, to test, that's what um, not everybody in this, uh, in this room uh, do, used to do uh, in learning, and to integrate some telemetry into the code. It's mainly to, uh, to, to monitor them. So in the security strategy components, uh, the preventing breach is uh, to have uh, to know and to, or to have some threat models, uh, um, to have some code review and some policy policies about that, um, to uh, to secure uh, to to test um, and to to secure your code by uh, testing them, and uh, to um, implement the security in the in the development life cycle of your uh, of your software life cycle what assuming uh, you we assume that uh, you are able to uh, to generate some game some war games exercise is uh, some kind of uh, of uh, escape game, a uh, virtual escape game that uh, you can implement and uh, uh, for example um, it's not about DevOps, but um, in uh, IBM, used to uh, if you were really interesting about security, you can ask uh, to uh, to be invited by uh, IBM uh, in uh, Cambridge uh, offices, and they uh, they used to um, organize a cyber security ex escape game, and you're going to to be placed in a, in a, in a situation where you are attacked, and they are going. To, uh, to watch what are your reaction and after the escape game to explain you what are the best uh, reaction you, you could have or you can have. And for them it's important because uh, uh, this is the, the way uh, which um, which, uh, which, uh, with which they implement Watson for the cyber security um, threat. So you have a central security monitor. So I don't know which, uh, uh, how many people in the in the room used to monitor your logs. Okay, it's a quarter of the of the room. And um, uh, who used to uh, to um, to regularly organize uh, live site penetration testing? Okay, less. <laughs> but no worry. <laughs> I'm going to give you some uh, some tools and some advice. So, um, DevSecOps is uh, some. It's uh, um, an idea. It's to implement security in uh, directly in the project. So. I'm pretty sure that no developer wants to introduce bad code or take down their cloud development. And so you can use security as a quality gate in your, uh, in, uh, in, in your chain of the, in your development chain. So poorly executing code could impact the availability of the service as much as a bad actor exploiting a, a vulnerability. And do not uh, regulate the uh, security tools. People and process are the most important, um, uh, most important um, uh, stool on the on, on your uh, on your continuous delivery. So do not spend too much time uh, looking at the shiny tool and uh, talking about uh, clever exploit but focus on people, on your people and your process. So DevOps is taking, what is, it's something ironic because DevOps is taking people out of the process because we want to automate uh, everything. But we, we have to, 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 um, to keep in mind that people are still the one writing and committing the code. That's not the machine. We, we don't, 
maybe not yet, but we don't have any uh, AI uh, uh, um, with capabilities of writing code. So that's what is uh, it's uh, some kind of uh, of strange. It's uh, in uh, in DevSecOps uh, you have um, a goal to automate everything, but to keep in your mind that people are the the, the, the main uh, the, the the main um, uh, pieces of your uh, continuous delivery uh, chain. So people, process, and technology, that is, the security, that is on what you're going to focus for your security. And this is not just technology. So DevOps, it's about collaboration, uh, the planning, and the through which with your building uh, your, your delivery pipeline. So, so it isn't simply about the tools, it's also about um, uh, this, this, three, uh, this three points. So the aspect of security and risk mitigation that you can have, it's securing containers because most of DevOps infrastructure is based on containers. So securing your containers and your application before they are deployed. We are going to, uh, to see just after how to do that. But do not forget to uh, have a look on your access control. Yesterday, I, I, have, um, I animated a, a workshop on a, a client of my companies, and they use only one uh, logging to deploy you to, com to commit their code. So it's, uh, uh, I know that um, it's easier for, for people to, to use, but uh, if you have only one logging, you're going to uh, have uh, to, to be several people to share the, the one password. And do not, do not uh, forget that maybe people can change companies. And if you've got some turnover, how, how, how are you going to manage this only one logging that the, the guys or the girl who left your company is going to know? Are you going to change your password every time? So that's why access control is really, really important. The code review too, because I'm pretty sure that yesterday it was a bad, the, the, the worst company, with, or maybe it's not the worst company, but the company with the worst habits we can, we can uh, meet because they don't have any code review. They don't want to, uh, to put their code on a, on a git because uh, they, they, di they, didn't, they, they, they told me that, yes, but GitHub, it's, uh, it's for the open source project. I, I, I try to explain them that you can also private, you can have also private repo, but uh, they prefer to put their code on the Google Drive. Okay, so good to go. Yeah, I know. I spend my I spend my morning to say, okay, so I think that this audit is going pretty uh, funny to um, to do. Um, they don't they don't share any log uh, any knowledge. So um, uh, I'm I'm in in a, in a case where they have developed a software. The main developer of the software is going to leave the company. And they don't have any documentation about the development, the history, and uh, why we have uh, this infrastructure today, and uh, and what was the problems, made, uh, what was the problems, and uh, what is the roadmap to uh, to um, to follow. So, um, I really hope that nobody is recognizing itself uh, on it. Okay, so and you also have to communicate because it's it's about team sharing. So the happy thing I'm I'm going to uh, the time is flying so fast. You have to uh, to to um, to manage your static code analysis. So this is uh, how to, uh, to 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 I'm sorry um, to 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 watch about your code, uh, to extract some model, analyze it, and uh, take some result. For that, uh, there's several tools, but uh, I made a focus on uh, open source tools because uh, maybe you you won't have uh, the budget to do that. 
So the first one is uh, Code Compare. It's a file and frontal comparison and merge tool. It's uh, it's a community uh, tool, so you you will have uh, over uh, 70,000 uh, users actively co use code to compare with them. So you have Coverity uh, Scan, which is also an open source cloud-based tool, and you have Sonar Cube that I really like very much because it's an open source tool, web-based tool, so you won't have to uh, to install it on your um, on your infrastructure. So vulnerability assessment, it's uh, about uh, avoiding code vulner vulnerability uh, directly from IDE. When you commit, you, uh, uh, you can have uh, some static code analyzing during the building. You will have uh, some automated um, dynamic scanning when you test your code, then you deploy it. And don't forget the uh, UAT test, which is a user acceptance testing, because it won't be uh, useful for you to develop or deploy on software if your users are not going to accept it. And uh, never forget to uh, connect the UAT to the UX uh, exp to the U user experience. Then you can go to the production and have continuous monitoring by watching over the log. So the main tools, uh, open uh, source tools that you can have for vulnerability assessment is OpenVAS. OpenVAS is generally an assessment tool that um, thought itself at the world's most advanced uh, open source tools, and I re totally agree with that. Metasploit is maybe the most famous tool, and it's really famous because it's an open source penetration testing framework that you can uh, use with uh, the Kali Linux distribution. If you are uh, you, um, um, if you're confident with uh, penetration testing or not, I'm pretty sure that everybody in the room uh, also uh, already uh, heard about Kali Linux. So this is this is only it's not maybe the best tool, but this, they are open source and. Uh, I just um, show you the, this tool because uh, just in order you not wasting your time at the beginning. So for the logs monitoring, you can have in Azure, Azure Monitor, in Google you have Istio, and uh, you have an open source tool as Prometheus, and SolarWinds, it's not an open source, but it's, uh, it's really famous uh, for logs monitoring. In cloud tools in AWS, they are, um, in, the, in the best practice, they, are, they are implement Chef, Puppet Labs, and Sybil, Elastic Beanstalk, and AWS Code de de Deploy. AWS Code Deploy minimizes the downtown and automatic deployment in the AWS. In Azure, you have Azure DevOps, which, is, uh, which um, replaces the Visual Studio um, Team Foundation. You have also uh, AZSK, which is uh, an SDK and uh, with, um, uh, with uh, um, uh, an offer to, uh, to secure your, all your subscription and, uh, and your, um, and, uh, your uh, CI/CD uh, continuous uh, d d development. And uh, you also have insurance, alerting, monitoring, and cloud risk governance. You have Azure AD for the user administration, and uh, you also have all open source tools so integrated, like Ansible, uh, Terraform, uh, Kubernetes. Kubernetes is uh, uh, is uh, use, is, is can be used with an uh, YAS or with a PaaS with uh, AKS or ACS. Azure uh, Kubernetes services. They also have in security intelligence, uh, which is a uh, special tools, uh, which can um, um, analyze your uh, your code semantics uh, and give you and give you some suggestion in uh, real time. In Google, you have also Ansible, Terraform, Pecker. Pecker it's uh, for server imaging. If you don't know uh, GCB, um, you have Mesos, Meriton, but you also have Kubernetes, of course, because Kubernetes is uh, is from Google at the origin, and you also have Gemcloud uh, for the user management. 
And then that's uh, that's all. I'm sorry. I uh, I, I finish really quickly, just in order to be on time. And if you have any question, do not hesitate or uh, come to me uh, at the end after the session. <laughs>